Well, this month I've introduced you to four wellness warriors, champions of fitness, nutrition, and overall health in our community. Their lives dedicated to others, but every success has a story behind it. Here's our final feature, owner of Grit Fitness, Brittany Redding. Grit Fitness is a true passion project for owner Brittany Redding. I was really interested in boutique fitness, but every time I went somewhere, I felt like I was too big, too young, and too poor. So she created a place for people like her. The concept took off, especially with women. One location turned into two, then three. I was teaching up to 13 classes in a week. In addition to running the company, I'm getting no sleep. I'm just working, working, working. One day, I just started to have this horrible pain in my ear. That day, everything changed. The left side of my face just stopped moving. My eye was just stuck open, and I couldn't press my lips together, and my face just was totally paralyzed. Stress led to a shingles outbreak in Britt's ear, which caused Ramsey Hunt syndrome. The doctor looked at me in my face and said, this is 100% stress induced. Doctors prescribed meds and rest. I started going to acupuncture on a weekly basis. I started going to therapy. It's been a rough few weeks, I must say. Eventually, Britt opened up about her journey on YouTube. Um, I'm just kind of getting through it. So the more she shared, the more friends and clients leaned into her vulnerability, encouraging and supporting her through the ups and downs. Smile is coming back. Four months later, the left side of Britt's face is moving again, thanks to face strengthening exercises, a lighter workload, and a deliberate self-care routine. I would say I'm probably like 90% back. I don't have my full smile. Britt has one loving message to relay to boss babes trying to do it all. Don't compromise your health. I think a lot of us think that being perfect is the way that we're going to succeed and we beat ourselves up when really being resilient, having grit, you know, passion and perseverance for the long term. That's really what, you know, makes you different and makes you extraordinary. And you'll be able to meet Britt tonight at 5.30 at Grit Fitness at the Addison location. We're going to be there for a 30-minute spin class she'll be teaching, followed by a 30-minute talk on stress and the importance of self-care. It's interesting that she was so invested in making sure other people had a place to de-stress and exercise and be well, but she wasn't taking care of herself. Well, and it's, I feel the same way. That's why I say I always can, I can relate to her because people look up to you to be like, perfectly healthy and happy all the time. And so you are invested in so many other lives, but it's um, not that you're not taking care of yourself. You're just not taking care of yourself as much as you should be. Is this something that could happen again if she doesn't maintain a different level of stress, That's if you will? That's a good question. I'll have to ask her that. Um, and maybe tonight we can chat about that. I'm not sure, but I, I will tell you what, she has shifted her life so that it won't happen again if she can help it at all. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You can, and you can tell. Yeah. yeah. And there's like a three minute video with more of her comments in our interview. Uh, I've tweeted it out, so it she just is amazing. Okay, great. Also, this notion that you can go for a while with something undiagnosed, that's always a scary And then being misdiagnosed. And misdiagnosed and, yeah, and so forth. Yeah, yeah, all right. She is a wellness warrior. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Let's get on over